Hi and welcome to Hi and welcome to another episode of Guitar Is My Thing. Um, the subject for today is FRFR cabs. So a while ago I made the decision to um, jump from using a, an amp and a traditional pedal board to using Helix with the band. And I guess the first challenge I came up against was one that I felt I'd experienced previously when using things like the big boss floor units is translating a sound that you can get uh, in your room at home uh, into a stage situation and it not falling to pieces in the process. So first of all I started by literally using our, our PA. Um, we play small bars so you know it's not a huge PA um, so, but setting the PA up at home and then sort of making sure I can get the right sounds through that because I was going direct um, wasn't terribly practical. Um, it's not great for your marriage when you're trying to uh, uh, pump out of that kind of volume to, uh, to get your sound right. So then I started looking at FRFR cabs and I was a bit surprised to be honest how uh, expensive some of them can be. Um, not to say that they aren't um, great units, and particularly the stuff I've read about the Line 6 unit with the various uh, speaker uh, modeling that goes into that as well is I'm, is, I'm sure, a really capable addition. But I was wondering how I might get to the point of being able to test my sounds through a stereo setup, which of course a lot of the FRFR cabs available aren't as far as I'm aware um, there may be some out there so don't quote me on that but so I wanted to be stereo um, and I wanted to get the sound of what my unit was like through FRFR speakers PA speakers so with a huge disclaimer to say I'm not saying this is the uh, solution anybody should follow uh, or I'm not saying this is the best solution in the world but it's the solution that I found that really worked for me. It got me to a point where I could hone my sounds um, away from the stage or in the rehearsal room um, and, and have it translate once the volume was turned up. And that solution was to use a dual monitor system. So I'll show you that now. So here's the unit I'm using. This is a Behringer F1220D floor monitor. It's uh, it's rated at 250 watts, although I do see some comments online suggesting that um, people aren't getting that kind of level out of it, but um, it's, it's kind of not what I've been using it for, really, so it's still working for me. Um, it has its own EQ section, it has inputs for mic and line, and it has um, a mix output uh, as well. It looks a pretty robust unit. It's a 12 inch uh, speaker and three inch tweeter. Um, I, I kind of preferred to set up my sound using 12 inch speakers. It, it just felt to me more guitarish um, than using um, smaller speakers. Um, that's not to decry anybody that uses 10 inch speakers because I have cabs with 10 inch speakers in. Um, but you take my point, a 12 inch speaker um, kind of gives you um, a, a nice a nice feel. So, so my setup at home is two of these units. So that allows me to come out of the Helix and, uh, and run essentially a stereo setup. Um, the other thing I like about this setup is, uh, and, and the one thing I like about this setup, you'll, I'll come to in a moment, but um, another thing I like about this setup is the flexibility. So if I wanted to um, practice at home, get my sound right, I can use this. If I find myself in a situation where I can't use in-ear monitors, um, then these two units can give me a feed um, because, of course, you have multiple outputs on the back of your Helix. I'm currently using the quarter inch outputs into this um, and I could still be sending XLRs 
to um, the main front of house mix. Um, so if I need that on stage monitoring, um, I have these units to give me that flexibility and still to give me a stereo sound through the monitor. Equally, if I find myself in a situation where uh, we're not using a PA at all for some whatever weird reason, I would be more than happy to use these two behind me actually as, a, uh, as, my, as my sort of amp and cab uh, straight out to the audience. But the sweetest thing I guess I found with this is these are on sale in the UK at the least for £135 each. Yep, £135 each. Now, now that kind of struck me as, as worth a go, worth a punt, uh, when I first thought of buying these. So two of these coming in at £270 is still um, significantly less than a lot of FRFR cabs out there. And you get this wonderful spaced stereo setup where you can really get your delays and your stereo modulation effects uh, working well and then also, importantly, translating very well to uh, the full PA in, in a stage situation. So there you go, if you're not um, using a, a, a traditional amp with your Helix and you're looking for an amp cab solution and you've been looking at all those FRFR units um, and trying to scrape the money together to get one, um, this just might be a solution worth considering. Um, as I've said before, I've I found it really, really usable, and and it's got me to a situation where I've received you know quite a number of compliments um, of the guitar sound that, that I achieve through uh, through our PA on stage. So um, it can't all be bad. So um, you pay your money and you take your choice, I suppose. So uh, talk to you again soon. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, and check out my other videos.